What's up everybody? This is From the Devs Collectibles coming at you with another toy haul. Now in this toy haul, we're gonna talk about the stuff that we picked up in the last toy hunt and some stuff that I picked up along the way. You know how I like to do it guys. I like to check other places and I like to check those toy aisles. If I find something, you know I'm gonna share it with you guys. So let's get into it. All right guys, let's start off with some Star Wars goodness with this Darth Revan that I found. Now this one, I really did like guys because this character is awesome. I did some research on him and he is a very cool character. So when I saw this figure out in the shelves guys, it had to come home with me. You know, this one came out with the, you know, Princess Leia's and the, uh, you know, Obi-Wan's and stuff like that. And those I usually see, you know, a whole bunch of like out in the stores, but I have not seen Darth Revan here. So I went ahead, picked them up. There was another one on the shelf, but that guy was crushed. You know, I left that one there. You know, it's all good. You know, that's how it works out with these toys. You gotta go with the best boxes. So I went ahead, picked this one up because it's always good to add to that Star Wars collection. All right, guys, next up with Star Wars is this Dirty Mando figure. Now this figure is the newest deluxe series figure that's been hitting the shelves and everybody's been getting this one. So I was happy to find this one this one was actually stashed away you know i did not record it for the toy hunt but i did record it for my tiktok so if you want to see that video guys go check out my tiktok because that one's up there uh this guy was kind of stashed away with a bunch of other random stuff that i guess somebody was hiding for later and i went ahead picked it up because when you see a mandalorian figure guys you know you got to pick it up especially if you're a star wars fan you know, those Mandalorian figures are always cool to pick up and there's a lot going on right now with the Mandalorian. You know, the TV show is really big right now and everybody loves Mandalorian. So you know they're gonna keep coming out with these Mandalorian characters, you know, different people from the Mandalorian uh, tribe and everything like that. So if you see this one out there, guys, I suggest you pick it up because it's always good to add another Mandalorian to that Mandalorian collection. All right, guys, moving on from Star Wars to wrestling with this big boss man figure. Now, this figure you did see me pick up on the toy hunt, but the chase version I picked up while I was out and about at a Walmart. Now, this was the one that I really, really wanted because it has his, you know, security black get up. And it also comes with the WCW hat, which is pretty cool. You know, I do like big boss man. He was, a, you know, one of those like staple, you know, bad dudes back in the day. You know, I remember his uh, feud with the big show where, you know, it was, he was doing all kinds of weird stuff, man. Like he was like, you know, taking his mom's casket out of the grave and like, you know, chaining it up and dragging it around with his car. Totally ridiculous, guys. But it was all fun. It was all entertaining and it was fun to watch. So this is the reason why I had to pick up Big Boss Man. He's one of those iconic, you know, bad dudes from back in the day that we all love, that we all love to hate. So I'm happy to get this guy and the chase in my collection. Alrighty guys, moving on from wrestling to Transformers with the Blaster and Eject here. Now, like I said guys, I'm not a big Transformers guy, but if there's some really cool Transformers out there, I'm gonna go ahead and pick them up. You know, case in point here is Blaster and Eject. You know, these things are really, really cool. You know, it kind of has the same, you know, motif as, you know, you know, Soundwave with the, uh, you know, transforming into a boombox and everything but this one's obviously red. But I have an idea for this. I did see somebody do this already on Instagram, and I think it's a really good idea. Somebody went ahead and put a Bluetooth speaker inside of a uh, blaster here. You know, it's a really cool idea that I have not even thought about yet. You know, uh, the guy went ahead, just, you know, you know, shoved basically the ink, like the components from the inside of a uh, Bluetooth speaker inside of Blaster and made it to where, you know, you can play music out of them. You know, that's a really, really cool idea that I'm thinking about doing, but I want to figure out how, you know, I'm going to go ahead and, you know, go about doing everything because I don't want to mess anything up, especially if I'm taking things apart and, you know, having to like, you know, solder wires together and stuff like that. You know, I want to have that stuff, you know, kind of planned out and everything before I go ahead and do it. But it's a project that I'm thinking about doing. And it's the reason why I went ahead and picked up Blaster here. So if you see him out there, guys, I suggest you pick him up because he's actually a really cool character and a really cool Transformer. You know, especially if you like, you know, Soundwave, you're going to like Blaster here. 
you know this one is from the uh transformers uh war for cybertron uh you know that's that you know i guess line of uh, transformers but there's actually another version of blaster and eject that are coming out it is the legacy version which are those new fancy purple and blue boxes that you know i think you have been seeing out on the shelves lately so if you see them out there guys i suggest you pick them up he is pretty cool all right guys moving on from the transformers to some dc multiverse with a little aew action thrown in you know, I know I already talked about wrestling already, but I had to throw this one in together with this Martian Manhunter because I actually got these from a giveaway. You know, it was a giveaway from Toy Shiz. I'm pretty sure you guys know, you know, who Toy Shiz is. You know, they're great. I love those guys. They, you know, bring you the best in, you know, toy news and toy, you know, giveaways and all kinds of stuff. I went ahead and, you know, kind of just threw my hat into the ring for a, you know, prize of some DC multiverse stuff. I unfortunately did not win the grand prize, but I was a runner up. And that runner up was, you know, 50 bucks to Walmart. And I went ahead and utilized that $50 to buy these two figures right here. And honestly, guys, best 50 bucks ever spent because I went ahead, picked up Martian Manhunter, the new Martian Manhunter that just hit the shelves and the Walmart exclusive AEW Unmatched Sting. I'm so happy about picking these two figures up because these were big ones for my you know, collection. You know, Martian Manhunter, one of my favorite DC characters of all time and Sting, probably one of my favorite wrestlers in AEW of all time. You know, this one is the Walmart exclusive. You know, it doesn't come with a jacket, different face paint, all kinds of stuff. And this Martian Manhunter is from the DC Rebirth. You know, that's, you know, a whole storyline of everything, you know, everything being switched up, you know, different origins for uh, old characters and whatnot. So it's a pretty fun read if you're into that kind of stuff. You know, Martian Manhunter, guys, looks awesome. I love how this, you know, scope came out. It might, you know, need a little bit of an extension in the neck because he kind of looks like, you know, he doesn't really have a neck. But honestly, it looks pretty good for what it is. So I'm very grateful for Toy Shiz for picking me as a winner because I'm so happy about that, guys. I never win anything, to be honest. So thanks to them for these epic pickups here. Alrighty, guys, moving on to some epic DC multiverse pickups with the figures that I picked up this week, starting off the Batman of Zer and R. Now, this one is a very unique Batman. It is a persona that Batman created for himself, and it's a very crazy character, guys. So if you have not looked this one up, guys, I say look into him, read about him, read about the stories that he's been a part of. He's kind of a unique character. Now, in the middle, we have Ultraman. Now, I know for a fact this one is very, very sought after for that Starro bath piece. Like everybody, I'm super excited about building Starro. The great thing about, you know, McFarlane Toys and what the Todd Father does is that he really doesn't space out his bath figures in like a bunch of, you know, random figures. You know, Marvel Legends has gotten kind of ridiculous with their build of figures where they put like, you know, the smallest of pieces and stretch it out across like an eight figure wave. And that's kind of crazy because that really does end up breaking the wallet when you really want to put together a bath figure. You know, McFarlane Toys and, you know, Todd McFarlane likes to just put them across like four different figures, making it way more affordable to put, a, you know, put together a build a figure, which is really, really awesome for someone like me who's, you know, kind of balling on a budget, you know, so these things are really cool. And for that, I have to pick these things up, especially for Starro, which is one of my favorite DC villains. But last but not least is the icing on the cake, this Platinum Edition Lobo. Now, I already have a platinum, so I'm thinking about giving one of them away. It might be one of the prizes for the 300 subscriber giveaway. I'm not really sure. Let me know what you think about it in the comments. You know, if you like it, let me know down in the comments. I might throw Lobo into the 300 subscriber giveaway. All right, you guys, last but not least is the NECA Holothon pickups. Yeah, Holothon is over. All that stuff is out of the way. Everybody's all mad and stuff because they could not find anything that they were trying to find. I am one of those people. I could not find a Demona to save my life. And trying to find that Elvira, that's a whole nother story. But I was lucky enough to find 
Super Bebop and Mighty Rocksteady and Ace Duck and Mutagen Man. So I'm super happy about getting these two because there were some of the ones that I really, 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 really wanted, you know, out of the Turtles side of things other than the four pack. So, you know, seeing these on the shelf, they had to come home with me, add to that, you know, TMNT cartoon collection. Uh, the other ones out there were Scumbag, Anthrax. Uh, I think there was a couple of other figures out there, you know, pizza monsters and things of that nature. But nothing I'm really too excited about picking up right now. Maybe in a couple of days or, you know, when I get some extra money or something like that, I'll go ahead and pick up, uh, you know, some of the other characters that I haven't missed. But I'm, you know, really happy with what I picked up already. So these are going into the collection and I'm very happy about getting them. So that's the haul for today, guys. It was another great haul and another great hunt. So what did you guys pick up this week? You know I love hearing about you guys' pickups, so let me know down in the comments what you guys picked up this week. And if you haven't already, guys, subscribe, 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 because we have hit the 300 subscriber mark. That means it's time for the giveaway. Who knows, you might be the recipient of a Platinum Edition logo, so who knows what kind of prizes we're gonna give away for the giveaway. So if you want to be a part of any of that guys be sure to subscribe because i will have some of the details for the giveaway later on once i get you know everything together and everything uh what i want to give away and stuff like that because we are doing two prizes you know one for 300 and one for 200 because we did skip over the 200 because i was a little busy around that time so we're gonna combine them together and have double giveaways so once i get all that stuff I will put up the information so you guys can enter to win. And don't forget, I'm from the Devs Collectibles. We do all kinds of things here like toy hunts, toy hauls, and something called the Custom Corner. I haven't done it in a little while, but I do have a bunch of ideas in the pipeline for the Custom Corner where we take our you know figures and we customize them the best we can. So if you like any of that stuff, guys, be sure to subscribe to From the Devs Collectibles. And I'll see you guys next time.